8 a.m. Eight ten a.m. Let's unbox this order of herbs for Boo. It says this is the bundle for feline immunodeficiency virus that includes Felim, multi essentials, and BK detox. So here is Boo's breakfast. Today is getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites, and I've put three drops of each of uh, the NHV herbal products in it. I'm starting him at less than their full recommended dose, just to kind of ramp him up into it, um, just to, you know, see if he'll eat it first. Um, and these are the herbs, and I'm not giving him any uh, wheatgrass or anything like that today, or green powder. The reason I give that to him is for its alkalizing and detoxifying properties, and, uh, these herbs um, have both alkalizing and detoxifying properties. So I feel like if he consumes the herbs, he's actually going to be um, getting more nutrition than what he would get just in that wheatgrass. So um, this is his breakfast. Let's see if he'll eat it. Eat your food, boo. Here are the dishes for the other cats today. They're getting the same thing as Boo, the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw. I gave them each two drops of uh, this multi-essentials um, herbal product just because I really like the ingredients in this product and um, you know I think it could be good for the cats. It's basically like a, uh, a multivitamin. And um, I might give them some wheatgrass to munch on as an appetizer. I just came downstairs to give them some cat grass and I couldn't find Stella. I didn't know where she was. And then I just heard her scratching on the litter box. Simba loves his cat grass. Splash, you don't want any cat grass? Simba follows it, watch. Do you hear him purring? Hello Stella, good morning. These two love it. I buy this cat grass at PetSmart just because their cat grass always looks a little bit healthier than the cat grass at Petco. But Petco does have it also. Thank you to everyone who has sent in the Petco and PetSmart gift cards because it helps buy cat grass. <music> These are their dinner plates from last night. I've never seen them lick the plates clean that much. I mean, that's crazy. So both Stella and Simba got weighed today. And Simba weighs less than Boo. Slightly less, but um, less than Boo. So um, fur can definitely be deceiving um, when it comes to assessing the weight of a cat. Simba has very thick and fluffy fur, which makes him look 
bigger than Boo, when in reality, based on body weight, he's slightly smaller than Boo. And Stella has lost about half a pound, maybe a little bit more than half a pound. So I think the um, separate dishes with portion sizes in each dish um, is helping versus one large family platter. I think with the family platter, it's easier for a cat to overeat. Um, whereas when the portions are portioned out in separate bowls, they might not um, eat as much or maybe they kind of get an idea, well, this is like my serving. Um, I don't know, I'm just happy that her weight is not increasing. And I am feeding them the same amount. It's just um, portioned out in separate bowls versus in one platter. Because when I put the food on a platter, I would measure it out onto the platter. And now I'm just measuring it out into separate bowls. I don't know if the addition of the green powder or the wheatgrass or the fruits are making um, a difference also. Because those are all... Uh, alkalizing supplements. It could be a combination of all three, but you know, even with separate portions in separate dishes, I mean, look, Stella is eating out of someone else's dish right now. The splash is in the window. 8.53 a.m. Oh my god, I just totally can't believe what I just saw, and I didn't have a camera with me at the time, so you missed it. Um, I just opened the back door to let Stella and Simba look out. And it looked like Hydrox was either laying on the mat or laying on the chair. I don't know which one, but he was literally like standing like right here, like where my finger is right there. He was literally standing right there. And now he's just moved down there. So what he was clearly sleeping somewhere like around here. So um, I don't want to disturb him. But I'm gonna give him some food and uh, then I'll shut the door. Or no, I'll leave the door open so they can see each other. I don't know. I don't have any raw food defrosted for Hydrox, so he's gonna get this uh, Nature's Variety canned food. I'm also gonna put some of these multi essential drops in his food. Okay, I'm bringing food out to Hydrox. And he almost did the back leg stretch. You know Boo's back leg stretch? He used to do that every time I brought food out to him. Hydrox almost did the same thing. Uh-oh, but now he's running after something. Oh, it was a squirrel. He's running after a squirrel. Okay, Hydrox, here's your food. Eat your food, Hydrox. Go eat your food. Look. Look where he's hanging. He's just hanging out on the patio, like five feet away from me. Not even. Hydrox, go eat your food. Go eat. Eat your food, Hydrox. Stella is smelling the air by the back door. She likes to look out the back door. I'm wondering if she's secretly in love with Hydrox. Or maybe Hydrox is her daddy and she recognizes him. Simba is in one window. Splash is in the other window. Stella is looking out the back door. And I assume Boo is looking out of his window. I opened the window so they could smell out. It is 12.49 p.m. Boo ate all of his breakfast, every last bit of it. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of dry food um, just to hold him over until dinner. I don't know what time I'm getting back tonight, if it's gonna be a little bit late or what. It is 6 p.m. I'm just getting home and there's Stella in the window. She likes to guard the house like that. She loves looking out the window, seeing what's going on. It is 6.02 p.m. and I just opened the curtains to look out the back door and Hydrox was laying on the black cat doormat. He just ran down the steps. Hydrox was laying on the black cat doormat. This is new for Hydrox. This is a first. 
this is what Boo's having for dinner today. He's having one of the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets. He's having a quarter cup of the Nature's Variety Instinct Chicken Bites. He's having a little bit of the dry food just because he really likes the dry food. And he is getting his herbal supplement. Boo finished all of his breakfast, all of it, even the dry food that I gave him. How you doing, Boo? Did you have a nice day? You ready to eat? Want to eat some food? Want some dinner? Want some dinner, Boo? So Hydrox is getting one of the na so Hydrox is getting one of the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets, uh, some of the Nature's Variety Instinct Bites. He's also getting a little bit of the Nature's Variety canned food. Hello, Hydrox. Are you hungry? Would you like to eat? Want some food? Come on. The automatic feeder was just about empty, so I just refilled the feeder with dry food and all the food in this feeder was donated um, so thank you to everyone who has been sending in uh, the um, nature's variety dry food and uh, also the uh, blue wilderness dry food hydrox is eating his food i fed him by the walkway because i needed to refill the feeder and i knew it would scare him so it looks like he's enjoying his meal. Boo just jumped up into the window to look outside and see what's going on. I just refilled uh, the big water bowl. So Hydrox has plenty of water to drink. 6.23 PM. All three of the cats have learned to eat on separate dishes. I don't know if they eat their whole meal on separate dishes. They might mix and match, but this is progress. So this tray has the dry food and water that was on the kitchen floor earlier today for Stella, Splash, and Simba. Well, right now those three are downstairs and the door is shut, so they are shut downstairs. And Boo is wandering around the house. He is on free roam right now. And Boo has discovered that this tray is on top of the garbage can. And that's what he's been doing. So he's been getting on his back legs and he's been using his front paws to scrape all the dry food off of this tray and he scrapes it down and he dumps it on the floor and then he eats it off the floor. Now that I'm filming this, he's walking around like, who me? I don't do that, but I just watched him do it several times. It's 9 p.m. and I am trying to start editing a video tonight. Except Boo has decided that he's gonna step all over my computer. Let's check out this undercover mouse cat toy. I bought this at Tuesday morning. I found it on their clearance shelf. It says it was originally $14.99 and I got it for 40% off. So I ended up spending a little more than $9 on it. It says the toy that introduces your cat to new heights of excitement at play requires three AA batteries, which are not included. It says includes one undercover mouse electronic cat toy, one ripstop nylon skirt, one mouse wand, requires three AA batteries not included. It says, just as the name implies, undercover mouse moves silently, randomly speeding, slowing, and reversing direction under its durable nylon cover. The hidden mouse skitters furtively just out of your cat's view. In fact, its movements are so real, you and your cat will swear there's a live mouse in the house. Here's the secret to its success. Undercover mouse's stealthy movements serve to pique your hunter predator's instinct to secure the catch. And no worries once the catch is made. Our new gearless friction drive means added reliability. Made of durable plastic, undercover mouse allows for easy speed adjustment will provide hours of interactive fun provided by three AA batteries. It says, care instructions, wipe clean with a damp cloth, replace batteries when dead. Safety information, cat should be supervised when playing with his toy. Remove toy from cat if any part becomes loose or detached. Intended for pets only, keep out of reach of children. Well, let's unbox this anyway. So it comes with this 
It's nylon tree skirt. To me, this looks like a Christmas tree skirt, so I'm just gonna call this a nylon tree skirt. It comes with instructions. It comes with this motorized part of the toy. That is what that looks like. And then it also comes with this attachment, and I guess this attachment is like the faux mouse. This requires a small screwdriver to unscrew the battery compartment. So I am going to um, go downstairs. I have a draw full of batteries. Let me see if I have uh, AA batteries. And I also keep the screwdriver there. So uh, let's see if we can make this work. Okay, so I found three batteries. And um, I put the batteries in this housing. And then I attached the wand. Boo's already chewing on it. Like, I haven't even put it under this uh, skirt thing. And he's already chewing on it. Okay, boo. Let me set it up. Let me set it up for you. So, now to put the skirt on, this um, gray ring comes off. And you put the skirt around the face. And then I'm assuming uh, you just put this back on and then give it a twist, and that way the skirt will stay on the base. And then on top, there is a button. So right now, that's on slow. That's pretty fast for slow. So now let's put it on middle. This is fast. And this last one is random. And then you hit it one more time and it goes off. The idea of it is good, I just feel like it needs to stop more often. I just put it on random and Boo seems more interested when it's on random. So, it appears when Boo is holding it, it starts making that horrible noise.
Okay, there's something wrong because, you know, this mouse thing is not going around, but the machine is going around, so I think Boo broke it. And what happened is that the mouse thing just came off, so I'm just gonna pop it back on. It is 10.15 p.m. I just put Boo in his room a few minutes ago. I gave him a little bit of dry food and um, I put harp music on for him. I shut the lights and uh, hopefully he'll be quiet in there tonight because tonight is Stella's night to be free roaming the house. Also Simba and Splash's night to be free roaming the house. And uh, Stella came upstairs and went straight to her scratch and roll. I mean, I'm sitting here on the floor also editing a video, so she just wants to hang out with me. But, um, yeah, I mean, Boo was sitting on the scratch and roll, like, what, 10 minutes ago, so. She obviously smells him. I don't think she's too happy that she smells him <laughs> on her scratch and roll, but cats are funny. How you doing, Stella? I just realized that I forgot to put Boo's tent away. Simba was just smelling it. Simba came up here smelling everything also. I have an editing audience. Stella is sleeping in her cardboard cat house. Boo is making noise at the door, like he wants to come out of the room. And Simba's checking it out. I removed the corral gate from the door. I want to see what they do. 